Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we called get test results of user API in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will write the code to show this data on the page in a table. So let's get started. So in our Angular application, as you can see, after the API call, we are saving the data in the dataset variable. And now we need to use this variable in the HTML file to display the data. And to do this, we will open viewmytestresult.component.ts. And in this file, we will create a div. And for the styling, we will give padding as 20 pixel. And after this, in this div, we need to create a table. And to do this, we will use ng table tag. And in this ng table, we will give the ng data as data set. And after this, in this ng table, we need to create table header. And to do this, we will create t head tag. And in this t head tag, we need to create table header row. And to do this, we will use tr tag. And in this tr tag, we need to create the columns for this table. And to do this, we will use th tag. And in the first column, we need to show the test name. So in this th tag, we will write test name and after this in the second column we will show total number of questions and after this we will show correct answers and percentage and with this the code for the table header is completed now we will create table body tag and in this table body we need to create table rows and to do this we will use tr tag and after this in this tr tag we will apply ng for loop and after the let keyword, we will name the single test result as data. And after the off keyword, we will call basic table dot data. And after this, in this tr tag, we need to create table datas. And first of all, we need to show the test name. And to do this, we will create table data tag. And in this, we will call data dot test name. And after the test name, we will call data dot total questions to show the total number of questions. And after this, we will show the correct number of answers and percentage. And with this, our code is completed to show the test results of the user. And after this, we will save this file and we will run our application. And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. Now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our view results table. And in the browser, we will click on this login button. And after this, we need to enter the details of user in this form. And after adding the email and password, we will click on this login button. And as you can see, after login success, we got redirected to the user dashboard. And after this, we will click on this view results button. And as you can see on the view results page, we got a table. And in this table, we can see the test results of this user. And in this table, we are showing test name in the first column. And after this, we are showing total number of questions. And then we are showing total number of correct answers. And at the end, we have a column for the percentage. And with this, our quiz and examination system project is completed. And if you want us to add more features in this project, you can let us know by commenting down on this video. And that's it for today's video. And we will meet you in the next Spring Boot and Angular project.